Diversity Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello, the student mind is about to be put through its paces again and whichever team outperforms the other will win the sixth of eight places in the quarterfinals. But for the losers, it'll be a long day's journey into night. The team from the University of Durham now scored 360 points in their first round match, the highest in that stage of the competition, leaving their opponents from Strathclyde University scrabbling around for a paltry 55. Their strengths were so numerous it would be quicker to list what they didn't know, although some aspects of medicine and the hand dynasty were beyond them. With an average age of 20, let's see if the Durham team can hit the same form tonight. Hi, my name's Sean. I'm from the Wirral and I'm studying English. Hi, I'm Cameron. I'm studying English and I'm from North London. This is their captain. Hello, I'm Matthew. I'm from South Derbyshire and I'm studying maths. Hi. I'm Ben from Davenham in Cheshire, and I'm studying for a PhD in chemistry. The team from Keeble College, Oxford, also had a solid first round match, albeit not as high scoring as their opponents tonight. And although the lead changed hands a few times in their match against the University of East Anglia, at the gong they had clocked up 180 points to UEA's 115. Diverse strengths on that occasion included the frog, the cuckoo, and various types of rhubarb. Let's meet the Keeble team, whose average age is 22. Hi, I'm Ellen. I'm from London, and I'm studying for a PhD in evolutionary biology. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm originally from Boston, Massachusetts, although I now live in London, and I'm studying philosophy, politics, and economics. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Rose. I'm from Durham, and I'm studying physics. Hello, I'm Thomas. I'm originally from Damram in the New Forest, and I'm studying for a doctorate in physical and theoretical chemistry. OK, let's just crack on with it. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. Salvatore Mundi, or Saviour of the World, is a painting of Jesus holding an orb and was sold at auction in 2017 for over $400 million. It's generally accepted to be one of fewer than 20. Keeble Green. D da Vinci? Leonardo da Vinci is correct, yes. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on novels first published in 1818. Published in 1818, The Maid of Killarney is by which Irish-born clergyman who became perpetual curate of Howarth in 1820? I need the given name and the surname. So it must be a really common surname, so... Mike. Oh, or Patricia Riley or something, because yeah. it's Irish. I really don't know. Pass. Okay, pass. It's Patrick Bronte. Oh. <laughs> Which novel of 1818 by Thomas Love Peacock is set in an isolated house owned by Mr Glowry? His butler is called Raven and his grooms are Mattox and Graves. <laughs> <laughs> pass. It's Nightmare Abbey. Which novel of 1818 by Walter Scott concerns a woman charged with killing her son? and takes its title from the popular name for Edinburgh's old Tollbooth prison. What do you think? Ivanhoe? I know who wrote that. Oh, Ivanhoe? Ivanhoe? No, it's the heart of Midlothian. Ten points for this. <laughs> what personal pronoun begins the following three titles? A 1950 short story collection by Isaac Asimov, a 2016 ah, film... People Pasternak. I. I is correct, yes. <laughs> Keeble, these bonuses are on fish. Referring to their appearance, what general name is given to bony fish of the large order pleuronectiforms? They typically display bilateral asymmetry with both eyes located on the same side of the head. Flatfish. Oh, yeah, flat. Flatfish. Correct. An important food fish noted for its size, Hippoglossus. Hippoglossus is the Atlantic species of which flatfish? Place. Place. It's a halibut. Oh. Pleuronectes platessa has what common name? This is the European species of a flatfish characterised by a skin that is dappled with orange or red spots. Place. Place is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. While it is easy to lie with them, it is even easier to lie without them. Those words of the US academic Fred Mosteller refer to what field of study? Florence Nightingale reputedly called it divine service. Durham Murray. Statistics. Statistics is correct, yes. So your first set of bonuses, Durham, are on the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. 
The financier Andrew Mellon founded the National Gallery in 1937. Under investigation for tax evasion, he donated old masters that he had purchased some years earlier from which country's government? <laughs> Um, should we get Italy? Yeah. Italy? No, it's from the USSR or <laughs> Russia. Mellon's bequest included the Alba Madonna, a work by which Italian artist born in Urbino in 1483? Yeah, we, we, we. Titian's Urbino. It is Titian's Urbino. Yes, Raphael. Uh, Raphael. Correct. Yes, okay. Another important work in the National Gallery is the Sacrament of the Last Supper. A 1955 work by which artist? The Catalan coast appears in the background. Dali. Salvador Dali is correct. Ten points for this. I would venture to guess that a non who wrote so many poems without signing them was often a woman who wrote those words in an essay based on lectures she delivered at Newnham College and Girton College. Durham Rand. Virginia Woolf. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on periodicals founded in the 19th century. Established in 1820 to counteract popular support for Queen Caroline, which conservative magazine was first edited by Theodore Hook? It shares its name with a national personification. John Bull. John Bull. John Bull. John Bull. We've had John, Bull. Uh, John Bull. Correct. Which literary magazine was founded by James Silk Buckingham in 1828? Its name is shared with a club on Pall Mall and a school founded by the Emperor Hadrian. Uh, Athenaeum. Yeah. Athenaeum. Correct. James Wilson founded which publication in 1843? Its prospectus promised articles in which free trade principles will be most rigidly applied. To all the important questions of the day. Um, I think it's the economist. Um, the economist. Correct. Yeah. Well done. We're going to take a picture around now. If your picture starter, you'll see two symbols that form part of the recognised notation system used in a game. For ten points, identify the game and the specific event that either symbol may be used to denote. Dora Murray. Chess and checkmate. Correct. Your picture bonuses are three more examples of algebraic notation denoting specific events in a game of chess, according to the World Chess Federation handbook. Firstly, what specific move is represented here? I need a two-word term. Queenside castling. Correct. Secondly, this specific event... Ooh, I haven't seen that one before. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's casting. Okay. En passant? Okay. Um, no, it is an offer of a draw. Mm, okay. And finally, again, I need the specific event represented here. Um, oh, yes. Pawn promotion to yes. a queen. Yes. Um, pawn promotion to a queen? Correct, yes, or queen, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Its name related to a Latin word meaning fine flour, which fruit cake, often containing marzipan, is eaten particularly during the Easter period. It shares its name with the Pretender during the reign of Henry VII. Durham Toynbee. Simnel cake. Simnel cake is right. <laughs> Your bonuses this time are on building materials. What Spanish word denotes both a brick made of sand and clay mixed with water and straw and left to dry in the sun and buildings made from this material? Uh, Spanish. Um, it's a Spanish word, material. material. I can't think of anything, so I'll pass. No. Uh, pass. It's adobe. Oh. Ultimately, from the Latin for people, what name for a flat-roofed, multi-storied communal adobe dwelling in the southern US is also that of the Native Americans who lived in them? Pueblo. Pueblo. Mm, isn't it? That's, that's, not, that's a Spanish word for town, though, isn't it? Oh, what, 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 was it? what did you say? It's the name of the Native... He said Pueblo. Pueblo. Mm. Did that, did that no, I don't know. Oh, just, yeah, I'll say Puebla. Pueblo is correct. Oh. What three-letter name is given to a composition of clay, gravel and straw used especially in the southwest of England for building walls? Three-letter name. Three-letter name. Three. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Three. Um, I don't know. Yes. No, I don't. No. Nothing? No, sorry, I don't know. 
It's Cobb. Right, ten points for this. Which ancient physician's achievements included the demonstration, in contrast to the teachings of the previous 400 years, that arteries carried blood rather than air? He was born in Pergamum in... <laughs> Durham Murray. Galen. Galen is correct, yes. Your bonuses are on the composer Anne Dudley, Durham. In the 1980s, Dudley joined the team of which British pop music producer working with him on records such as ABC's Lexicon of Love and Frankie Goes to Hollywood's Two Tribes? Um, no idea. ABC producer. I know the name of the lead guy of ABC. It's called Martin Trevor. That's not it. Uh, I have um, no idea. I don't think that's what I know. Pass, sorry. It's Trevor Horn. Together with Horn, Dudley was a founding member of which influential 80s synth pop group? Noted for innovations in sampling, their hits included a version of Prince's Kiss with vocals by Tom Jones. Um, um, I don't know, really. I'm trying to remember from 80s synth. <laughs> Pass, sorry. It's the art of noise. Dudley won an Academy Award for her original score for which British comedy film of 1997, set in Sheffield and directed by Peter Catanio? Uh, the Full Monty. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Give any year during the lifetime of the Norwegian mathematician Niels Henrik Abel. The year of his birth saw the acquisition by the British Museum of the Rosetta Stone. Uh, Keeble Green. 1816. Correct. <laughs> It was from 1802 to 1829, so you get a set of bonuses now on scientific awards in 1979. In 1979, Abdus Salam became the first Muslim to win the Nobel Prize in physics. What was his nationality? Egyptian. No, he was Pakistani. Yeah. What three letters denote the high-level <coughs> programming language for which the Canadian Kenneth Iverson received the Turing Award in 1979. Two letters. Okay. Programming language. Um, I don't think I'm going to get it. ABC? No, it's APL. And finally, Alan Cormack and Godfrey Housefield won the Nobel Prize in Medicine for their work on the diagnostic technique known as CT. For what do those letters stand? Computer tomography. Computer tomography. Computed tomography, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. In what work is the tale of patient result of the 100th and final story? The collection dates from the mid-14th century. Keeble Green. Canterbury Tales? Nope. I'm afraid you lose five points. Durham Toynbee. Arabian Nights? No, it's the Decameron. Ten points for this. Give the precise spelling of the given name that links a French painter and mother of Maurice Utrillo a singer-songwriter whose hits include Tom's Diner and the author of The ah, Hunger Games... Keeble Atkinson. Vega. No, you lose five Vega. points. And the author of The Hunger Games trilogy. Durham Toynbee. S-U-Z-A-N-N-E. Correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on word combinations. Firstly, for five points, a two-letter word meaning forward or in the direction of followed by a two-letter Latin prefix with the same meaning, spells the name of which general type of amphibian? Uh, not it's frog. frog. Uh, yeah. Toad. Correct. The four-letter name of which mammal can be formed from an exclamation expressing surprise, joy or indignation, followed by a prefix that can mean back or again? R-E is possibly the... Is it, is it, Ari's I was expressing, I thought it was yeah. joy. Um, but what was, what's, is it an animal? It's a, yeah, a mammal. Ending in Ari. Hair. 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 Hair is right. The chemical symbol for a Group 6 metal used in alloys to resist corrosion, followed by a prefix meaning away or from, spells the name of which general type of crustacean? Crab. Correct. <laughs> We're going to take a music round. For your music starter, you'll hear a song from a musical. For ten points, give me the name of the actor singing as credited on the original recording. Feel calm and Durham Yule. Uh, Joel Grey. Joel Grey is correct, yes. <laughs> Following on from Joel Grey in Cabaret, your music bonuses are three more singers who share surnames with British Prime Ministers, this time all in office since 1900. 
In each case, I want both the forename and the surname of the person singing and of the Prime Minister. Oh. Firstly... Do you think you're just fingerless? OK, right, mate, wait. Well, have you ever seen a girl for whom it's all you give, for whom you fight for or die for praying to God? Brown? Yeah, James Brown and Gordon Brown. James Brown and Gordon Brown. <laughs> no, it's Jackie Wilson and Harold Wilson, which is just about as unlikely. <laughs> Secondly, this singer and Prime Minister, their surnames are common spelling variants of each other. Do I look like this? I mean, I'm not going to embarrass myself twice. I'll just pass. <laughs> I'll pass this one. No, we don't know, sorry. That was Michael McDonald and Ramsay McDonald. <laughs> and finally. No, we don't know this one either. That's Ian Brown and Gordon Brown. Right, ten points for this. In the inheritance of sickle cell disease, what is the probability that a child will develop the disease if both parents are heterozygous carriers? People Pasternak. One quarter? Yes, one in four. Twenty-five percent. <laughs> Your bonuses are on Latin America, Keeble College. In each case, identify the country from the description of its national flag. Firstly, three horizontal bands of blue, white and blue with the central five-star design that symbolises the countries of the former Central American Federation. Argentina. Oh, no, no, it's Honduras. <laughs> Secondly, three horizontal bands, blue, white, blue, in the centre of a triangular design incorporating a liberty cap and five volcanoes. Blue, white, Honduras, maybe? Honduras. Wait, wait. Oh, no, that was just Honduras. Well, we just had Honduras. No, it's oh. Nicaragua. <laughs> and finally, three vertical bands, blue, white, blue, in the centre, a national coat of arms with a Quetzal bird and crossed weapons. Wait, is it? no, Argentina is the sun. It's a Quetzal bird. Oh, hang on. No. Guyana? Surely it is. Isn't it the one we've been saying all along? No, but doesn't Argentina have a sun? Yeah, Argentina does have a sun. I don't know. Like, um, Costa Rica. No, it's Guatemala. Ten points for this. Who wrote the 1856 book known in English as The Old Regime and the Revolution? He's perhaps best known for his analysis of political culture in the United States. Ah. Keeble Green. Alexander de Tocqueville. Correct. De Tocqueville is correct. <laughs> You get a set of bonuses, this time on nuclear physics. What six-letter name is given to the atomic nucleus with an electric charge of plus one and a mass of 5.007 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms? Proton? Yeah. Proton? No, it's a triton. Oh, the oh. mass is different. Oh, oh. While the triton is unstable, having a half-life of 12.3 years, which nucleus is stable? This also has a six-letter name and a fractionally lower mass. I don't know the nuclear physics of it, but it's, it's the same thing, but with a slightly lower mass, isn't it? So, uh, I don't know. I guess in that field, yeah. then. Pass. It's a helion. And finally, what stable nucleus has a mass of 3.34 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms? This nucleus has an eight-letter name. Mm. Yeah. Deuterion has the right length. Deuterion? No, it's deuteron. Right, ten points for this. Still largely undeciphered. Rongo Rongo is a writing system. Dora Murray. Easter Island. Easter Island is correct. <laughs> These bonuses, Durham, are on plagiarism. Quote, shall we forever make new books by pouring only out of one vessel into another? Who complained thus about plagiarism, but in so doing plagiarised another author in his novel Tristram Shandy? Stern. Lawrence Stern. Uh, Lawrence Stern. Correct. Noted for her 2005 work, Team of Rivals, which US historian was accused of plagiarism in her 1987 work, The Fitzgeralds and the Kennedys? Oh, I know, it's just in the back of my brain. 
nothing. Um, nothing, sorry. We don't know. It's Doris Kearns Goodwin. And finally, in 2011, which British journalist uh, returned yeah. his Orwell Prize following yeah. accusations of yeah. plagiarism that focused on his articles for The Independent? A nominate Yule? Uh, Johan Hari. Correct. <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture round. If you're a picture starter, you'll see a self-portrait. Ten points if you can identify the artist. Durham Rout. Rembrandt. It is Rembrandt, yes. <laughs> so, following on from that Rembrandt, your picture bonuses are three more examples of the sub-genre of self-portrait with dog. Again, in each case, <laughs> simply name the artist. Firstly... <laughs> Any guesses? It's a bit late. It's a bit late for some yeah. stuff, I'd say. What coin or anything? Is it normal? Um, I don't know. Nothing. I feel like it's more 19th century. Wanna... Do you have, do you Let's have, have it, please. No, we don't know, sorry. You don't know, that's Landseer. <laughs> Secondly, who's this? Um, I think that could be Van Dyke. Uh, Van, Van Dyke? Van Dyke? No, that's Gustav Courbet. And finally... Frida Kahlo. Uh, Frida Kahlo. <laughs> yes, that's her self-portrait with Dan Guito. Ten points for this. In chemistry, what precise term indicates the dehydration process whereby a compound loses its water of hydration to the air? Durham Toynbee. Efflorescence. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on yoga. Born in 1918, which Indian teacher gives his name to a form of hatha yoga described as methodical and progressive, emphasising detailed correctness? Oh, what's that? I'm relying on you here. <laughs> oh. His name is Yoga. We can't. No. I just think we just called Yoga. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it can't be done. Uh, nothing? No, pass. It's BK Iyengar. Based on eight principles, what type of yoga takes its name from the Sanskrit for having eight parts or eight membered? Don't look at me. Oh, no, I pass. That's really Ashtanga, much. apparently. Which system of meditation is named after the latent female energy believed to lie coiled at the base of the spine? No, that's not named after. Something cram. Cram. I don't know. Yeah. No, pass. Sorry. It's Kundalini. Ten points for this. What word in the plural completes this sentence from the beginning of a sonnet by Shakespeare? Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit. Durham Toynbee. Impediment. Impediment is correct. Right, these bonuses are on physics. In each case, give the words represented in the following acronyms. All three include the word electron. First, eels, E E L S. Electron emission laser spectroscopy? No, it's mm -hmm. electron energy loss spectroscopy, so that's not correct. And secondly, Endor, E N D O R. Electron. Electron. Neutral. 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 No, pass. That's electron nuclear double resonance. And finally, FEL, F E L. Yeah, nothing. Uh, pass. That's free electron laser. There's four minutes to go and ten points for this. In microbiology, what single term denotes a virus that uses a bacterium as its host? Uh, Keep all pestinac. Phage, bacteriophage. Bacteriophage is correct, yes. <laughs> Three questions on the art critic and novelist John Berger, who died in 2017 for you, Keeble. Berger won the 1972 Booker Prize for which experimental novel set in the years before the First World War? Its title is a single letter. Is it E and then it doesn't contain the letter E for the whole book? Oh. No, that's, that's a French oh, dude. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> if we've got anything better, I'll guess it. What? I? No, it's G. <laughs> After protesting in his acceptance speech against the sponsor's trading practices in the Caribbean, Berger claimed that he would give half his book of prize money to which revolutionary organisation? No idea. Pass. It was the Black Panthers. Also in 1972, Berger presented... Which four-part television series on art history? 
His scripts were adapted into a book of the same name. Ways of seeing. Correct. No, no. Ten points for this. What unit is a measurement of length equal to one millionth of a micrometer? Durham Toynbee. The Angstrom. Now, anyone like to buzz from Keeble? You may not confer. One of you can buzz. Keeble player. Picometer. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses this time are on ancient Egypt, situated close to the River Nile, about 700 kilometres south of Cairo. The Valley of the Kings formed part of which ancient capital, the site of modern-day Luxor? Thebes. Correct. The Valley of the Kings is the burial site of most pharaohs of the 18th to the 20th dynasty. These dynasties are known by the term Egyptian Empire and by what other two-word term? I don't, I don't Late something, maybe I don't know. Uh, late period? No, it's the New Kingdom. What name links the founder of the 19th dynasty, his grandson known as the Great and Nine Rulers of the Ramesses. 20th dynasty? Ramses is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Closing time is the 1994 sequel to which novel published 33 years earlier? Durham Mule. Cat 22. Correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses now, Durham, on an insect. Leaf roller, tiger, owlet and tussock are families of which mainly nocturnal flying insect that has about 150,000 known species? Moth. Oh, yeah, tiger moth. Moth? Correct. Which destructive species of tussock moth gives its name to the yacht on which Sir Francis Chichester sailed solo around the world in 1966 and 67? No, 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 nothing. Um, pass. That's gypsy moth. Referring to the rounded cotton seed pods that they destroy, what name is given to the larvae of various moths who also damage peas, beans and other crops? Come on. No, no. nothing. Pass. No, ball worms. Ten points for this. The constitutional document known as the Instrument of Government is associated with the rule of which figure born in Eastern England in 1599? Keeble Green. Oliver Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell is correct. You get a set of bonuses now. On UK geography, in each case, name the island group from points at or close to its extremities. Barra Head and the Butt of Lewis Lighthouse, firstly. Some Scottish islands, yeah. maybe. Shetland. 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 No, it's the Western Isles. Bruff Ness on South Ronaldsey and Point of Sinsos on North Ronaldsey. <laughs> and that was on Keeble College Oxford have 100, but Durham University have 200. Well, Keeble, you seem to have a good time anyway, so that's all that matters, <laughs> really, isn't it? As long as you enjoyed yourselves. And, Durham, that's another very convincing performance from you. We shall look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals. Congratulations. I hope you can join us next time for another second round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Keeble College, Oxford. Goodbye. Bye. It's goodbye from Durham University. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>